In the new edition of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, Dave Meltzer provided an update on Stephanie McMahon's leave of absence from WWE, which she announced yesterday, and which, in fact, caught most people in the company off guard. She announced Thursday she's taking a leave of absence from, quote, the majority of her responsibilities with WWE. She wrote she looks forward to returning to the company after taking this time away to focus on her family. Meltzer reports the leave of absence was 100% Stephanie's choice and had been coming for some time, even though the announcement was a surprise to most. He wrote, this came out of nowhere. Most talent and those in the office and creative didn't know about it until they heard that she tweeted it. There were definitely a few people who knew and knew the background, but they weren't saying much past. There is more to it, but the basic reason given uh, were not inaccurate. The part about leaving a focus on her family is definitely part of it. It was obviously a tough year with Paul Levesque being out for so long. And she had to pick up a lot of the responsibilities and obviously had to deal from a family standpoint with his health issues. Levesque is back in the office full-time now. So he's in the office full-time, but she's taking a leave of absence. There's no time frame for her turn. We are told she is returning. All kinds of speculation has transpired. You know what I need this week is more speculation. But the only thing we were told directly is that this was 100% her choice. This has been coming for some time. Not something that happened out of nowhere, even though it would appear, because virtually nobody knew anything, except a few who had kept it totally quiet until just before she released the info. But she was not forced or pressured. It was her choice. As far as what it means for the future, that at this point would be all speculation. She was the public face of the company, had been pushed by the company to be positioned as one of the leading female sports executives in the country. Company president Nick Khan will be taking over her duties. And those who reported to her will now be reporting to him. Stephanie, besides being chief brand officer, I wonder if Brandy is available to take that job over for a while. Member of the company's board of directors, and aside from Vince, was the only original McMahon family member still working for the company. She owns 2.5% of the company, which would be valued at this point. Well, that was yesterday. Yesterday it was $116 million. Who knows about today? In her role as chief brand officer, she's responsible for ensuring WWE's global brand strength and growth. Although, let's be honest, Stephanie McMahon was not responsible for ensuring the global strength and growth of WWE. Many, many people are responsible for that. But best wishes to her. Hopefully everything works out great and she uh, can return soon. That's the update on Stephanie McMahon. It's going to be a nutty day now. Sound like you got a beef with the sources, man. What are you talking about? They re they report things. That's where the speculation comes in. And no, I'm talking about speculation it, from these fans. It runs rampant. I'm, I'm turning into a <laughs> WWE heel. These oh fans are driving me out of my mind. Well... You Stephanie know what? may be out of her mind right now when you have three kids, you know, all only a couple of years apart, and she's had a long year. That's something that a lot of people, you know, they talked about Triple H being out and everything, and Stephanie continuing on and how this affected NXT and all this stuff. But it's, you know, because we sometimes don't put it in, don't think about this, of this is a family with three young kids, 12, 14, and 16 years old, that... It's tough, and this may be the best time to try to take a break because I would assume Stephanie McMahon, even though she's got a lot of options outside WWE, is going to be back inside WWE until that company is sold. And, you know, until, I mean, I don't know when you're when you're scheduled to take a break again in a, in a business that's relentless with a, a focus like her father that is relentless. It is every day, every moment, you know, spent thinking about wrestling and trying to drive the business forward. When are you going to take another break again? So maybe with what happened with Triple H, it was a Stein to stop and go, hey, you know, appreciate what you got right now. Slow up. He's back to work. Let's ease off the, uh, the pedal here a little bit and take some time before we go back and and kick this thing back into gear again. And and you're obviously in safe hands, no matter what anybody wants to say about Nick Khan being the reaper of the McMahon family and forcing people out and all that other nonsense. I mean, my God, he's a great businessman. He's been fantastic for that company. They, they obviously work together great to get the TV deals through. They hire him from CAA or where William Morris, wherever exactly he was from. 
and he's been nothing but a success for them. So it's Vince McMahon's company. Nick Khan is doing great for them. If there's a time to step back, this is certainly a good time to do it. I was reading this book about bats. The book explains that a bat cannot stand and then take off. Okay, a bat can only fly, fall from a great height and then fly. Gotcha. Sting is now a bat. He just goes up on something really high and he falls. He, he did not jump through these tables. <laughs> no, he, he fell. Just, he fell. If you enjoy these videos for just seven dollars and ninety nine cents per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.